What's going on guys? Big to be back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, I present to you the low ceiling mod for the Godfather Collector's Edition Pinball Machine. Put some pepper on it, boys! Let's take a look. Alright guys, you know Joe Fanoff man, all the socials, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. Click the link tree down below. It's all there. It's just very simple. I made your life easy. Just go there and then like everything, the TikToks and all that. I I'm gonna say it. I don't think I will ever get tired or enough of my pinball machines. My first ever pinball machine, my first ever purchase, proudly the Godfather Collector's Edition. On the socials, going heavy. Uh, it's nothing. It's not really a big deal because uh, I feel like Jersey Jack probably just has somebody like on their phone that gets a notification. They just kind of repost. But anytime I get a video or I shoot a video of my pinball machines, whether it's the kiddo literally just flipping around on Toy Story, uh, I always post it to the socials. And Jersey Jack does repost it. Not every single one, but they do it. And it's always cool. It's always great. Definitely from the repost though, I've had a couple of people DM me and they're like, whoa, <laughs> what's going on over here? <laughs> so we're going to be talking about my personal mod uh, on pin side. I called it the low ceiling mod. Um, I am not alone in this boat. There are other collector's edition owner that do not have a high enough ceiling for the topper on this. Um, Again, I'll go through everything. I'll show you everything. I'll even show you the drawing of the wood and such. But before we get into that, we have to start and we have to address the fucking haters. The amount of hate is pathetic. It is fucking sad. The amount of hate that I've seen, I've gotten written. It doesn't get to me. Again, doing YouTube and socials and all that, you will get the haters, you just not, you need to know how to deal with it. I do read every single comment, but god damn, the fucking amount of hate. I don't normally cur curse a lot, but yo, the haters, man, they fucking hate all day. <laughs> let's address the haters. Now, if you don't know, for the people that don't really know pinball and why people are hating, let's just go with the basics. This beautiful machine, again, this is the Godfather 50th Anniversary Collector's Edition Pinball Machine from Jersey Jack Pinball. Jersey Jack Pinball has two variations of this machine. They have a limited edition, which is basically, it's, it's, what's great with them is that they have the same game. You know, nothing really changes minus like artwork and as far as Toy Story, a couple of call outs. But the LE is like your basic stuff. There's no, you know, additional stuff such as underglow back box glow as you could see here and stuff they also do offer a collector's edition as you see here with a bunch of features in the godfather's case and this is what i'm going to address the fucking haters because people are just so focused on the topper because as you can see that's one big key thing with the collector's edition is the beautiful topper uh there's other stuff going on on this cabinet besides the topper so to the fucking haters that are asking why did i get a collector's edition if I didn't use the topper, there's more stuff. You do have the inside decals, you have the gold wire forms, you have the gold flake. You do have the unique side art on this. This does have the Don on the side art, which I fucking love. I like Michael Corleone, that's awesome, that's great, but the fucking Don, especially when I sit there and I stream and I do like you know these podcasts, you could see the Don on the side. Ooh. Then you have also the gold accents, the gold rails and stuff, the horse head shooter. There is so much more than just the topper on why I got the collector's edition. Now, besides all these extra things, because some people are like, oh, I didn't realize that. I didn't realize the different artwork. Anyway, let's address the toppers. Honestly, if you go and you look up Jersey Jack Pinball and you watch the promo video for this table, they show off those gunners. The topper is amazing. Not, I'm not gonna lie, it made me fall in love with just getting a pinball machine. I never had intentions of buying a pinball machine. I had my V-Pin, but I saw the ad for this. I went to go play this on location and I fell in love with it and I bought a collector's edition. So yes, the topper is honestly one of the best features with the collector's edition. 
You got two gunners, it also has a car, I'm gonna show you. Don't worry, because I'm gonna show you what the fucking haters keep telling me. Uh, there's so much to go on, but again, this right here, we're aiming at the haters. But the topper, yes, it is beautiful, but it is tall. My ceiling is low. Oh, Vic, put it like upstairs then. You think the wife wants this in like the dining room? Do you think I game in the dining room? I don't know what the fuck you're thinking about. I basically took a kind of issue I had and I, I resolved the issue. I don't understand these fucking people. They're like, oh, you butchered it. You, you destroyed this cabinet. No, I didn't. <laughs> I will go in depth and in detail on the mod exactly what you see here. I didn't break anything. I didn't put screws inside of side art. Like, God, you guys are fucking haters. <laughs> Now, my current basement here is 82 inches tall. This right here is a Buzz Lightyear mini figurine. I don't know, this is probably like four or five inches. He doesn't fit, okay? So, for the people that just don't understand, and I did post it on the Toy Story mod video, these, it doesn't fit. <laughs> Not even the gunners alone would fit. They are about like an inch too tall, just for the gunners alone. I did post it on Pinside and on my other video where I did an in-depth view of the topper before modding it. Um, the whole thing is about 11, give or take 11 to 12 inches tall. It's a foot tall. So I'm at 82, I believe I wrote there, you probably need about 80. I needed to, I would need to cut into the wood or my ceiling. I would say a good, it was like a foot. It, you need height. Uh, that's the biggest thing and unfortunately I don't have it, but I took this kind of issue I have and this is my solution to it. To address the haters, the one big thing is people are like, you destroyed the topper. If you tried to resell this cabinet, you fucked it up. I absolutely did not. <laughs> Everything is the same as it was from the factory minus me extending wires. That is all I did. I took a wire that was originally, let's say, eight inches long, and then I added a foot. Worst case scenario, if I ever decided to sell this, I would just put it back to normal. I would remove the additional wire. That is it. Nothing else happened. <laughs> now again, I'm going on this little rant. I've had this kind of boiled up. Luckily, I have my platform. Whether people watch these videos or not, I do not care. I kind of use this as an outlet. But yes, we're gonna be addressing the haters. I'm still addressing the haters. Some of the haters have a stupid solution, which I will show. I currently have that solution going on and it's the fucking worst solution you could ever think of. My mind is racing, but the hardest thing that really annoys me is, uh, and I don't give a shit, the guy comments and it's fine. You could go back on, on even my shorts and you could read the comments on me giving this little short video of this. And the worst is when somebody goes, you destroy this cabinet you'll never be able to resell it. You degraded it, you lost the value. No, I didn't. <laughs> Number one, to address that, I am not looking to sell this machine. That's what I hate. That's what everybody in the pinball community, they're annoyed that people like are jacking up the price. Somebody has a collector's edition brand new in the box for like 17 grand, more than what it originally sold for. I'm not into that. I'm not here to play this game for a month and then sell it. I am planning to keep this. This is my first ever machine. It might, you might say it has a sentimental value to me. I love it. Not to mention right now, I am several weeks in and I am not even close to getting like even a quarter of the way done with this game. That is just how in depth, that's what I love about it. I, I'm still learning it. That's what I love about it. But for people to go there and be like, oh, you degrade, some fucking asshole, I'm gonna call you straight out and look in the camera, you're a fucking asshole. He goes there and he goes, you destroyed this $30,000 game if you decide to resell it, I'll take it off your hands for 8K. Why fucking comment? Why? Why? You're the type of person that does not like to see somebody happy and you are not gonna rain on my parade. I don't fucking get it. Why did you comment? What makes you think I'm gonna sell you my machine for 8K number Why? Why would you think I'm gonna sell my machine number one? And then why would you think I'm gonna sell it for, number, for 8K? And then you also saying that it's a $30,000 machine. You're fucking stupid, and I'm going back and forth. I did not delete your comments. I didn't block you because I don't give a shit. I'm not that type of person. But whoever's watching, go look at the comments. It's a back and forth tip for tat, and then the guy ends it with, 
All right, bro, your, your mod is cool though, I like it. And I was like, no you don't. <laughs> if you liked it, this whole conversation would have went a whole different way. He didn't reply, I do not give a shit. You are, I, I, I'm gonna say it straight out, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> I didn't block you, you could comment back on this video, I could give two shits. I am enjoying the shit out of my machine, so you could hate all day on your fucking chair and you're, you're sitting on hate. Hate, my guy, you could hate all day. Now again, I do mention a lot in the past videos, going to pin side, there are other people that are in the same boat, but they didn't let the topper, that's the thing, people are like, why did you get a collector's edition? You should have just settled with the, with the LE. I'm not gonna settle for nothing because it's not gonna fit. I basically sat, even before I bought this cabinet, I was like, you know what? I'm Vic BP. I'm gonna find out how to modify these gunners because I want the gunners. And honestly, What's really great with some of the positivity on pin side, some people are like, yo Vic, you may have created a whole new kind of add-on. They called it ciders. Uh, it's kind of fun. I was like, oh cool. I guess nobody has ever done this. Look at it. Look at the mod. The best part with this mod, and some people have said it, even my buddy Project Canada, he knows I mention him in almost every video. People have noticed that, and I have said it, the gunners are eye level to the player now. So when it goes to multi-ball, it kind of makes you feel like they're shooting at you. And then not to mention, I can actually see them moving around. They're almost close to, to Floyd or Mike, whatever his name is, inside here. So if I created a new mod or a new kind of add-on option, I'll take that credit. <laughs> but yes, a lot of people mentioned this, this one dude who's like, yo, you created ciders. You should call it ciders. And honestly, it's awesome. To the haters again, some people are like, oh, you now can't drop the back box. Yes, I can. There's a good, I would say, it's about an inch and a half of a gap. It doesn't even come close to the side art. If I wanted to drop the back box, I could. Vic, what if you want to raise the play field? You can't do that anymore. Yes, I can. There's a lot of room. It doesn't interfere at all. I don't get it. I don't get it. Now, one thing somebody did on pin side, and I will give them kudos because they made it work. I don't personally like it. They took the topper and they put it to the left of their cabinet on a shelf. Listen, you made it work. You, I'm not a hater. You made it work. You definitely took something, an issue that you had, that you had a low ceiling. You moved it and it works. Awesome. I am happy for you. That is great. Me personally, I'm not a fan because I'm not looking to the left. It, it was on a shelf. But again, at least that guy has his gunners and it's working awesome. It's just kind of cool to see other people have removed the topper. But apparently if you start unscrewing shit and moving shit, you you fucked up the whole thing and junked the whole cabinet. Idiots. Now again, I will even take that snippet. I'll take it from pin side. Again, the guy has his cabinet here and he put it on the shelf here. Awesome. Definitely had to do some modification like I did. And he even wrote there, I, he had to extend the power cable. Definitely 100%. That is something that I did here. And I guess he had to buy a USB extender like I mentioned in my other video. You could do that as well. He made it work. Love it. Now I'm going to take what the other haters have suggested. And they basically wanted me to take the topper and just put it on like a shelf and leave it as is. Don't touch it. You want to see what that looks like? I'll show you. This is what it looks like. Yes. This, this is what you want. This is your solution, you fucking haters. This, this is what you want. This is sit here now, collecting dust. Doesn't work. Doesn't light, it's, it's, I don't know, it's, I don't know, what is this? 612, it's 15 feet away from my cabinet. Do you notice something to make this even work? You don't notice it, right? Cause I don't know if you fucking thought of it. But Jersey Jack, has a screw on the bottom right here. Look at the look at the length of that screw. I had to put here a piece of wood, I believe that's about an inch and a half, just for this to sit straight. There you go, this is it. This now is what you suggested, minus the gunners, because I have my gunners functioning. This is what you like. Boring. It's a waste. I have it here, because luckily I have this amazing space here and it's amazing how like I have the space that fits it but this is what you guys like apparently you haters this is what you like
You should have just put it. Just don't even disassemble it. Let it collect dust. Don't have the, the gunners working. What? It's funny because I say I don't care about the haters, but I'm going hard on the haters. It's just, I like to, I'm the type of person where if you, if I'm going to be straight up with you. People like that. Vic, you straight up, man. You tell me, you tell, you say it like it is. This is what people have suggested. You should have just put it on the side and not touched it and not messed with it. Why? Look at this is. So again, when I was doing that video and I did a closer look, you could go back to my videos. I have a whole video of a closer look at the topper. I purposely did that to figure out what exactly is going on on the topper while the game is working. Basically, there's LED strips here. They are just white. They lightly dim. Don't need it. The headlights on the car, they go on and off with the game. I don't care about the car. Not to mention, even with the car, it does not fit in my ceiling. I'm not going to cut a hole like somebody did in New York where they cut the hole. If you've seen this, they, they cut a hole to make the topper fit. They got insulation sticking out of the hole and now the dude is selling his cabinet because his wife doesn't like the hole. I, <laughs> that's, that's unfortunate. That's not a joke. I'll probably post a real quick picture. I don't know if I did it before and, but yeah, there's a pic, this is this guy's cabinet. This is, that's what he did. He made it work, but now he's selling his cabinet because his wife doesn't like the hole. Oh man, I wonder what the haters have to say for that one. Uh, but again, the skyline, the stuff back here, the LEDs here, it's cool, but it wasn't functioning. Again, right here, what I took, I took the gunners from here. I took the PCB that was back here. And yes, there is an LED strip that was here. I took it, I did cut it in half, and I moved it there. Oh, Vic, you, you, you can't put that back now. Yes, I can. It's fucking LEDs with three, uh, three or four pads. If you know LEDs, if you're not an idiot and you know how to solder, you put that shit back. Now we're done talking to haters, let's take a look at the mod itself. So as you can see, I am utilizing the gunners, I'm utilizing the plastics that kind of cover the like mechanisms of the gunners, and I am using the LED strip that was in front uh, on the topper. I put you there on purpose to address, Vic, you're gonna scratch the artwork, no I'm not. Look, that is no joke. That is two fingers there, two fingers there. Vic, I can't lift the play field now. Yes, you can. It goes vertical up. It is perfectly fine. Now, again, another thing with my low ceiling, I cannot get totally vertical. And again, in your hater mind, I sh in your mind then, I should not have bought pinball machines. If it doesn't fit, you shouldn't have bought it. Anyway... Yes, my, my, my play field will go up, but pinball play fields, they really are meant to rest onto the back box to get totally up. If I ever had to work like that, I would have to remove the legs. Oh no, don't worry, I will take that 15, 20 minutes of my life to remove the back legs and get it working. Some people are just pathetic, but again, as you can see, the mod is, it's beautiful and it works. That is the big thing. It would have sat on a shelf like that car over there. It would have been a fucking waste of space. I am not gonna throw out that, obviously. Unfortunately, that is too big. I thought maybe I could put it in the bottom of the, you know, the pinball machine, like just as storage. No, it's too big. I'm not gonna put it on the floor because I vacuum my floor and I keep my floor clean and I like to make sure it looks like a real clean arcade that I have. I have it, luckily, a nice little spot. <laughs> and coincidentally, it's perfectly spaced out. Now on pin side, I have my own thread going hard, in-depth detail that took a lot of pictures to show off what exactly I did. Uh, I had, I made a piece of wood. I actually CNC cut a piece of wood. Trial and error, it took me about four CNC cuts. Some people might look at this one here and they might see that it's a little crooked. The reason I have that is because I wanted to be clean and I did put T-molding on the edges here and in all honesty, the rear, it's a very, it's no joke, probably, a, it's about an inch wide in the rear. Um, doing a T-molding cut on such a thin piece is a little tough, so I do know my T-molding is a little bit higher than the wood. Right now, it doesn't bother me. I, it's fine. Vic, uh, uh, it's slanted. Okay, I could always take it out and then cut the T-molding, but I'm perfectly fine with it. Um, let me take you closer. Let's show you a couple of things. Uh, number one, while you're there, you can see uh, this is the left gunner. I kept the gunners correct, but the little toys in front is flipped. It works out perfectly because again, this gunner goes left and right. So as you can see this kind of like vinyl figurine toy thing, it is sloped that way. So it is good. 
Now here, again, this barrel really was in front of this gunner here. These crates were in front of this gunner here. Uh, it just, it works out. I will be brutally honest though, for this gunner here, he does kind of rub up against these bottles, but it's nothing drastic. Luckily this gun is like flexible and the motors push it away, so it's not that big of a deal. Now taking a look at the bottom here, yes, there is wires. Yes, this is a must, but luckily I have my wire looms here to clean it up, keep it nice and neat. The big thing I do wanna show off is this right here. This bracket is with the gunner. This is stock, this comes from it. On that topper though, the gunner is basically, there's a screw here, it's flat. I basically said, instead of me keeping the gunner tall, I was able to drop the gunner down three quarters of an inch because my wood is three quarters of an inch. And now basically the gunner is lower. Uh, it wasn't needed, but I discovered that and I said, you know what, it's cool. The left side here is where most of the wires are. This is a big bunch of wires. The right side doesn't have this big of a, of, of a set. Uh, basically, again, you have your basics. There's communication wires talking to the gunners. That alone is eight wires, um, and I utilized Ethernet, a uh, Cat5 uh, wire for that, Cat5E to be exact. And then you have another set of LEDs that go along here, and basically because they are LEDs, they have to be in line. These LEDs then come across and then go to the other side. Uh, basically, it's like, you know, it's a long LED strip. They, that's how they communicate. That's how they talk to each other. It has to be in, in line, I guess you could say. Now, same thing here. You can see the right gunner here. Same thing. You have a couple of wires with the loom here. Uh, basic stuff. It is not as much wires as the left gunner because I basically don't have uh, four wires from the LEDs. Really, three wires needed, but I have a four, you know, four LED wire connector. But yes, it's basically four wires less on this side. So again, you got your gunners there, but I'll show you the rear. Now I'm not gonna pull the cabinet out because I already have everything perfectly leveled, but you could see what's going on in the rear. So again, we have our wire loom. Everything is underneath the back box. It's not on the side. So again, as I look while I play, you could see you don't see the wires. It's clean. Oh, Vic, I see the wires in the back. Who is looking at the back? <laughs> but yes, yeah, so take a look right here real quick. So again, I don't have anything screwed into the back box. These are like stickies you know, zip tie holder stickies. So again, nice and neat wire loomed here. I do have though the control board screwed in here, just two screws. That's all I did was two screws, but you can basically see this board was on the topper. I put my legs here. You can see wiring goes up behind. Same thing on the other side. You can see the wire loom going to the other gunner and then underneath. But the big thing is the board now. So. A couple things going on here. I did have to extend the power. This is the power in the cabinet. And luckily, the USB cable that it comes with, the mini USB that it talks to the board, I didn't have to buy an extender. So that is the stock one that came with it. But all in all, as you could see, beautiful. Look, that's as clean as it could get. Yes, if you look at it from the side, okay, yes, I do see the board. It's sticking out, ugly. But who's looking at the back? It works. That is the main thing. It does work. Now, the one thing I did notice with these pins, I'm going to most likely get like a fabric and put it on top. I don't see it. If I'm playing, I don't see the top of the back box. But if I'm playing like my House of the Dead cabinet, even on Toy Story, that is my HDMI mod. I can see the wires there. That one, yes, I could see the wires there. There's uh, actually two sets of wires there that's talking to the back box LEDs. That comes from Jersey Jack. Nothing like a simple black fabric that will cover it. I haven't done that yet because I'm trying to find out what I could put on top. I can't put anything on top. No joke, I only have about four to five inches of clearance. Not to mention that's four to five inches in the front. The back, as you can see, the back gets smaller. I only have, I don't know, Maybe it's four to five inches in the back and then it's like six inches in the front. But yes, there you go. Now, as far as what did I do? How is this being held up, Vic? What did you do? I'll show you real quick the piece of wood. So like I said, this is the piece of wood here. I'm gonna have to probably grab my phone flashlight. Now you can see there, it's the piece of wood. It starts out skinny and then it branches out to make the platform. Again, I will show pictures that I put on pin side. And you can kind of see, I only have 
two screws, one towards like the front and then one towards the rear, right? There's a screw. So yes, there is two screws going underneath the back box. Something that you will never see. And as you can see, the arm, it's right in between the arm and the back box wood here. You might see it better on the right side. Again, it's kind of like a paddle. I'll be posting, uh, you know, in, in Premiere, I'll, make, I'll show you the pictures that I took. Basically, again, it's the piece of wood right there. Two screws. And the screws do not go through the back box. You have to use the right length screws. Not to mention the, in the back box is like a metal plate for the uh, arm here. But you could also see here, the gunner. I'll go up above. You can see again, the gunner. The legs that are underneath, they really would be here, but I was able to lower the gunner a little bit. On Etsy, somebody makes like these figurine kind of props. I could always kind of fill this space up, maybe put like money bags. Somebody has like a cool crate. Uh, Godfather doesn't really have cocaine in it, but that's Scarface. But somebody has like a money crate. I could always add that here to these little black voids. But again, my gunners are functioning. That is the best part. Again, you wanted that? You want to just put it on a shelf? Look at it. Sitting. Doing nothing. Meanwhile, my gunners, when we play, they shoot us up and all that. Again, yes, you need to know soldering for this. Again, for this here, and again, if you remember the topper, the topper communication actually goes left to right. That is how it, it works. In reality now with the mod, it starts here. And then it goes to the back. And then here, it comes through the back and then in the front. Basically, depending on the mode, uh, some modes, like it only utilizes the first five or six LEDs. And that is where the gunner is. So again, you need to know some logic uh, for the haters that you might not know logic, but yes, you do need to know some logic. Now taking a close look at the gunner, like I said before, you can see there, see that? The arm, these are the arms. This is what was connected to the topper base. I dropped him down. He went down three quarters of an inch. If I bought him up, I would have needed the gunner to move up a little bit more. So I would have probably had to add about a half of an inch to an inch on the base. But the best thing is he doesn't go near the back box. Look at that. He clears the back box. Doesn't go near it. Nope. Look, see. He clears it. Again, there was a lot of planning with this. A lot of cutting going on. Again, I did it on probably the fourth or fifth official try. This is probably the fifth try on this. But all in all, solid. Like I mentioned before, I could find like these uh, figurine props just to fill up this kind of empty space. But it works. That is the best part. It does work. Like I did mention before, I'm going to put you guys here. You'll watch the gunner closely. Yes, this gunner, he actually, the gun actually makes it over here. So sometimes when he's brushing back this way, you'll see the gun tip kind of flex a little bit. But that's just that one gunner. That's mostly because of these bottles here. But I could always move this barrel up. But honestly, it's been working for almost two months now and no issues. So speaker, headphone warning. I do have the topper knocker active. It is set to Godfather mode, so it will get loud. Uh, halfway through, I'll turn off the knocker so we can at least see the gunners going. Also keep in mind, the gunners only move in multi-ball. So if I start the game, they don't move. You have to be in a multi-ball and then they'll start moving around. So you will see a lot of cuts right now. I'm not going to waste your time and play. I'm just going to go into the multi-balls and stuff. All right, here we go. Choose your family. The best way to start a pinball game is that line right there. My father is no different than any other powerful man. I'll go Corleone. We're going to try to get the Fountain Sicily multi-ball. Thirty years ago, they called me the Nano the Super 
All right, so I got you guys basically eye level with the players to kind of see how it looks. Try to get a quick fountain multi-ball. Sicily multi-ball is ready. Oh. Okay. The hideout shot I can never get. <laughs> The left ramp is the best way to set up for it. On the other side, you block the rear view mirror. Take the cannoli. No! Shoot the lit shots. So as you can see, multiple ended. So did the gunners. What shot for the kids when you're back Try to grab the ball lock. Oh, drains. All right, so I got you guys basically eye level with the players to kind of see how it looks. Try to get a quick fountain multi ball. Sicily multi ball is ready. Oh. The hideout shot I can never get. <laughs> you try this compound lock. There it is. Boom, baby. Wow. Oh my Let's God. the gunners. So again, in multi-ball, the gunners move around, as you can see. When not in multi-ball, they stay. Gotta hit the left ramp for some knocker action. There it is. Shoot the left orbit. I'm raising combo. Oh. I bumped the ISO on my uh, camera. Just in case if you think the gunners are too dark. Get over there. Wanna go for a swim? I got a great place for you. Kid. Jackpot! Ball two, two turf war! Jackpot. The jackpot's rain. Look at them, they're shooting at you. They're shooting at me. They're not shooting at spectators, they're shooting at me. I'm gonna show you sister. Put some pepper in it, boys. Oh shit, that was a spin on that ball. Now, yes, it definitely feels like Tatalia's all over the place is right. Look at that, all down the veto lane. Light him up. Put some pepper in it, boys. Beautiful, yes. Yes, yes. Oh, and we got Sicily multi ball. <laughs> yes. Multi ball. Yes, it feels like it. Frenzy. Look at that. Four ball multi ball. Light him up. Oh. Oh. The right ramp. The right ramp. I'm on it. I got the right ramp. There you go.
what a way to end this video right here. Unbelievable. We've got a compound too. What a ball right now. <laughs> oh man, it's like the highest score I've ever gotten. At least on a second or third ball. So many jackpots. Oh, oh there it is. Being the Corleone family, there you go. Whoa. That's it, I'm draining on purpose. Awesome, awesome. Woo! Love it. I cannot get enough of it. Now imagine if I didn't have that board connected, you would not hear those. Don't want to get copyright, so I'm gonna lower that. Oh man, imagine now, right? For the haters, this is the last, this is the last bit. If I didn't have that board connected, you do not hear or get that second knocker. This cabinet is utilizing two knockers. Every cabinet has one, which is the replay knocker, which is meh. You could kind of, in person, you could hear the difference of the replay knocker versus the gunner knocker. And as you can hear it, it's insanity. Now imagine, imagine if I just left these guys over there in the corner. It would have been sad. Sad like your lives. But there you guys have it. The low ceiling slash ciders mod on the Godfather Collector's Edition for low ceiling owners. Um, uh, I'll probably post, uh, uh, yeah, I'll probably post like the dimensions somewhere. I was gonna offer a kit for this. Um, there's a lot of wiring. Uh, if anything, if anybody wanted this mod, if they wanted me to do this mod, you would have to send me your entire topper. Um, I don't know what it's going to cost to ship that, but you would definitely have to send me the entire topper. Um, worst case scenario, no, yeah, I would need almost everything. I would need the board, the LED strip, the plastics, and the gunners. Um, do, yeah, you, you technically do. I'm not, I don't really totally remember, but you may, yeah, you may have to send me the entire topper. Uh, honestly, even stock factory, they're kind of disconnects. You just got to extend the disconnects. Um, but yes, if you do want more details on this, or if you want like the dimensions on the paddles, uh, you can let me know. Uh, I'll, you know, just DM me or something and I'll let you know. But on that note, Vic VP, Game Case Arcades, I am loving my machine. Just machines man i love it can't get enough stay tuned the next video i will tell you the journey as far as getting the godfather and getting toy story uh and that'll be really the last video for pinball um it will be my story about driving 80 miles two hours out to play the godfather fuck you haters <laughs>